Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do for the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9. And the first thing I want to show you is the sidebar. Almost invisible, you can easily swipe it in here and you will have quick access to your favorite apps. By the way, also pretty nice if you have it yeah, on your hands, just swipe it out here with your thumb and you have quick access right now. Um, uh, this sidebar you can uh, edit if you want uh, by just uh, yeah, swiping it in and tap you on the pen and then you can remove some apps here if you want me uh, here the cam and uh, yeah what we want to have just an example the gallery here now and just go on the home button and that means whenever you swipe it out now you will have now the gallery as well here in your sidebar pretty nice and if you want you can also clone apps here at this tablet so that means if you're having maybe two facebook accounts now you need to uh, switch always your accounts uh, in between one app but now you can have a second app and it's much more easy same works also with WhatsApp or yeah, Snapchat and so on. Let me show you a bit more about it. So first of all, of course, you need to download the app for. Um, then just uh, scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go on the left side here down to the point advanced features. And now you have the last point here on the right side. It's called dual messenger. And as the name says already, you can only clone messaging apps like WhatsApp, Snapchat, uh, Facebook, Messenger, and so on. So what to do? You just uh, yeah, enable the app you want to clone. Uh, just tap you on install, confirm it for the very first time. Then it's asking you if you want to have a separate contact list. Uh, you don't need that, by the way. And if you need that, you can also add it later. Just tap you on next, go on OK. And now the tablet is creating a second app of WhatsApp. Okay, that's... It's taking a few seconds now we are back and uh yeah a bit below here you can uh, create a second uh contact <laughs> contact list if you really need it okay let's clone also some other apps here like snapchat just have install let me continue it to the end here and then i will show you how you can recognize these second apps huh? okay and how it is now huh? Let's have a look at the app drawer. So these are my main apps. And now you have here the second apps. Okay, how you can recognize them? I think I've realized it already. There's an orange mark here always at the corner. So this is my main Facebook account. This is my second one right now. No, this is my main WhatsApp account. This is my second one. So a pretty nice way to have easy access, especially if you have second or third accounts. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is uh, to make the tablet a bit faster because always if you open an app here, you will have a little animation that zooms out and zooms in if you close it. No, it's open, it zooms out and if we close it, it zooms in. And you can remove these animations and that will make your tablet faster. Let me show you how. Just scroll down here, tap on a symbol for the settings. Then you need to go on the left side to the point accessibility, here it is. Then you need to go on the right side to vis visibility enhancements and you will find the point remove animations. Just enable this one and that means whenever you open an app now it's immediately there and immediately gone. No? Immediately there, immediately gone. Let me turn this off again uh, that you can compare it a bit. So as you can see now it feels much slower isn't it? So I would recommend to you to um, yeah to enable this removing animation feature here and the tablet will save also resources. And yeah, pretty nice. And the next feature I want to show you is for the battery lifespan. Very important to know, if you charge your tablet, don't charge it more than 85%. Also, if uh, the energy is low, don't let it be under 20%. So between 20% and 85%, this is the best um, yeah, battery um, power you can give to your tablet for a long battery lifespan. And uh, especially for the charging that you don't have to check it always. Oh, when it's at 85%, you can set it up automatically that the charging is stopping at 85%. Let me show you how you can do that. Just scroll down here. Tap you on the same before the settings. Then you need to go down to the point battery and device care on the right side now you will need to point battery tap on it scroll down a bit and now you will need to point more battery settings 
and you need to enable now the last point here protect battery and as i said if you're doing that the tablet will stop the charging automatically at 85 percent and that will really extend the lifespan of your battery yeah pretty nice also for the environment and let me remind you again don't let the battery uh, charging level here fall under 20 percent so keep it always in between 20 percent and 85 percent this is the best thing for the long 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 lifespan of your battery yeah, the next feature i want to show you is also for the battery because you can enable a power saving mode which one is saving energy well, here it is so just scroll down here scroll down a second time and then you have here this battery and you will save now a bit energy but there could be also moments where you really need your tablet and just have a few percent and you can't charge your tablet huh? uh, then you can enable a special feature and this i want to present you right now i just go here now on the written word power saving then tap on details okay now we have some more options now let me turn off first the power saving mode here okay and uh, now you can see a bit what happens if you're on the power saving mode now with the cpu speed is limited uh, up to 70 percent huh? and the brightness uh, is decreased by 10 percent and there's one more option. You can really squeeze out the maximum from the battery if you enable the last point here, limit apps and home screen. This is really reducing the, yeah, the tablet uh, uh, stuff here at a minimum. Okay, let me enable this, huh? like that. And now let's turn on the power saving again and see what happened. Now we have a special mode, which one saves a lot of energy. I don't know if you have seen it before. We had uh, a remaining time of three days and a few hours. Now, we just to enable this last point, limit apps and home screen, we have six days and five hours. So we double um, the time uh, for the battery. Pretty, pretty nice. Uh, as you can see, the apps are limited right now, but you can add also here on the plus symbol some ads, uh, apps like uh, YouTube and so on, and even WhatsApp uh, and so much more. Uh, the clone apps you can't use here, uh, but the main apps you can use, and you can even play games here with that. But um, yeah, it is all reduced to a minimum, and also the, the screen brightness is reduced. No? Um, this is really to save energy. I hope you will never need it, uh, that you will never have an emergency where you need your tablet so urgently. Um, but um, in case, it is good to enable this limited apps home screen because it squeeze out the maximum and if you have the chance later to charge your tablet again just tap here on three points go on turn off power saving and you're back in the regular mode by the way nothing is deleted in the background everything is the same thing it's just a power saving for the moment and the next feature i want to show you is for the taskbar no the taskbar is pretty nice because it's always there even if you open an app the taskbar is part of yeah the screen and uh, that allows you to uh, yeah to have always quick access here to these apps Mom, um, i would recommend to you if you have apps you're using often you should just long press them here on home screen and swipe it in and the uh, app will be part of that taskbar no? like netflix right now i have now netflix always in my taskbar uh, even if i open an app i have always quick access here pretty nice for whatsapp and so on and so on and the next thing i want to show you is uh yeah for the keyboard huh? um the options are cool let me uh create a note here that i can show you uh, the thing with the keyboard yeah it is the keyboard here right now and yeah easily you know, to reach uh so this tablet have a nice size uh, but you can also you know, that your thumbs are not here in a battle always in the middle you can split a bit the keyboard and now it is much easier uh, to have it even you can also tap here in the middle to have this movable um, keyboard here and then you have it with as so you have easily access with one hand here to write something so pretty pretty nice no? just tap here to have it floating you can put it also to another position here and tap here again to have it on full screen and here you can tap easily 
to split the keyboard. Um, yeah, choose the one which one is the most comfortable for you. And yeah, pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, the next thing I want to show you is for the text size. Pretty easy. Uh, you have enough space here on your tablet, on your screen. Uh, why not increasing the text size? I've done it here already to uh, give you a more comfortable view here for the video. Um, let me show you how you can increase the text size or even the icons. Not just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go here on the left side to the point display and here you will find a bit more below the font size and style for the for the text size and the screen zoom. Now let's start with the font size and style. Here you can increase the text size. Now I've increased it already to the maximum in the middle. You can increase it also much more even to the maximum, what looks nice maybe at the beginning, but the problem is you can't really read well the notifications, not the previous here anymore, because the uh, text size is too much. No? The reason why I recommend to you to put it here at the middle, no? uh, at maximum, this is much more comfortable. And if you want to have larger icons, just go on screen zoom and you can increase here the icons as well um yeah you should check it out what's the most comfortable for your eyes and a nice mode by the way and the next feature i want to show you is also for our eyes because we are all looking too often on our smartphone and tablet screens and that is giving our eyes a lot of stress but there's a way to reduce that stress by enabling a blue light filter uh, the blue light is not that good for our eyes let me show you a bit more about it just scroll down here Scroll down again a second time and then you have much more icons, by the way. And if you swipe here, you have also a second page. And a part of the second page is the sun logo here, the sun icon. If you tap on it, you enable the eye comfort shield. This is a blue light filter. And as you have seen, maybe um, the screen becomes now a bit more yellow. Huh? And um, yeah, this is the blue light filter. Uh, it's a bit uh, unusual at the beginning, but you get used to. Let me show you a bit more about it. Because if you now tap on the written words, I comfort shield, you will have uh, here below the point color temperature. And you can set it up. You can make it more warm. And as more warm it is, as better it is for your eyes. I really recommend this feature to you. If you say, this is nothing for me. I recommend it latest, at latest to you in the evening hours because it will affect also your sleep. You will sleep much better in the evening hours if you're using that a few hours before. And you don't have to turn it on and turn it off by your own if you just wanted to use it at night. Just go on details, go then on set chat shield, and go from sunset to sunrise. Then, whenever the sun sets, the blue light filter will turn on, and if the sun rises, the blue light filter will turn off. Huh? But as I've said, please use it also all over the day, and yeah, your eyes will say thank you. Okay, there's something else. What supports your eyes in the night time and evening time? This is, uh, yeah, if the screen is bright and everything is dark around you, this is also not comfortable. Huh? So, uh, and uh, to yeah, prevent that, you can enable a dark mode. Huh? Let me show you how. Just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, go on the second page as we have learned, and now we will need the mood symbol here. If you enable this feature, you will see that many things, what was very bright before, becomes more dark. And this is much more comfortable. I think you know what I mean. Huh? And um, this feature, I just recommend it to you only in the evening and in the night. And on the day, it's not that good uh, for your eyes. So this one, you uh, should only have it in the evening and in the night, as I said. And uh, yeah, that you don't have to do it by your own all the time. I recommend to you to chat it as well, by just tapping on the written word dark mode, go on details and turn it on as chat shoot from sunset to sunrise. Yeah, that's it. I hope I could uh, show you uh, some nice tips and tricks here for your setup, uh, for your tablet. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something that would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for your support. And uh, yeah, I've created also some other videos if you're interested in with some more tips and tricks and so on. You can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for your support and yeah, maybe the next time. <laughs> Ciao.